Okay, so example one here asks us to simplify the following third. Now we know ourselves, we can only add and subtract thirds if they are the same. So say if we had three root four plus two root four, we can get five root four. That's completely fine. But we can't add or subtract the thirds if they're different. So here we have root 27, root 12, and root 75. So we need to do something different. So the first things first is I'm going to try and write these in a different way. So I'm going to first of all take the 2 root 27 and think, well, here are my square numbers. I'm going to write them in the corner. So 2, 2 squared is 4, 3 squared is 9. Uh, 4 squared is 16, 25, 36, and um, 7 sevens are 49. Then we've got uh, 64, um, 81, 100, um, and so on. So I'm going to try and see, well, what way can I write these as square numbers? So 27, I can rewrite that as 2 square root of 9 by 3. Okay, uh, that's the biggest square number there that's a factor of 27. So using that now, I can say, well, that's really 2 times the square root of 9 by the square root of 3. And I know that the square root of 9, well, I should know that is 3. So that really means 2. And remember, because there's no adding or subtracting here, it's multiplied. So it's 2 times 3 times root 3, which gives me 2 3s are 6 root 3. So I've rewritten 2 root 27 as 6 root 3. Now I'm going to go on to plus 1 half root 12. So root 12 I can write as 1 half. The largest square number that's a factor of 12 is 4 and it's 4 times 3. Okay so that becomes 1 half root 4 by root 3 which is 1 half 2 root 3. And remember, because it's all attached, it means multiply. And a half multiplied by 2 is 1. So that becomes plus 1 root 3. And then the last one is minus root 75. So again, the biggest square number that's a factor of 75 is 25. And it is minus square root of 25 times 3 which is minus the square root of 25 by root 3. It means the same thing. But hang on, the square root of 25 is 5, so that really means minus 5 root 3. And now, because I've rewritten them in a different format, I can actually add or subtract at this point. So what was my question? It was 27 or 2, 2 root 27, which is now 6 root 3, plus a half root 12, which is now 1 root 3, minus 75, the square root of 75, which is 5 root 3. So I can add as normal. 6 root 3 plus 1 root 3 is 7 root 3, minus 5 root 3 gives me a total of 2 root 3 is my answer. All right, example number 2 here asks me 3 plus square root 5, bracket 4 minus 2 root 5. And remember, Back-to-back -back brackets, so if I had a 2 and a 3 there, those back-to-back -back brackets mean multiply, and that means 6. So here, this is essentially what I'm doing. I'm multiplying. So we do this by the box method. So I'm going to write top here and side here. Okay. And I'm going to draw my lines and fill in my information. So on the top, I'm going to write... 3 and a plus root 5. And here on the side, I'm going to write a 4 and a minus 2 root 5. And I'm going to cross multiply to fill those in. So the first one is 4 times 3, and the answer I get there is 12. 4 times root 5, so it's a whole number by a square root, so that just gives me 4 root 5. Here now, again, I must multiply my numbers here. So I've got 3 times minus 2, which gives me minus 6. And then I've got my root 5. And here I've got minus 2 times root 5 times root 5. So just to remind you, root 5 by root 5 really means root 
25, which is equal to 5. So I can really write that now as minus 2 times 5, which will now give me my new line, which is 12 plus 4 root 5. I'm just going inside my boxes now. Minus 6 root 5. And minus 2 by 5 gives me minus 10. Okay, and at this point I'm grouping. I'm bringing the same things together. So here I have a 12 and a minus 10. So I can bring them together. And 12 minus 10 is 2. And then I have a 4 root 5 minus a 6 root 5, which gives me minus 2 root Okay, so when you are multiplying, just remember to do box multiplication as we've done and then be just careful with your signs and remember your numbers you add together and then your thirds you add together. Okay, so here we have simplify minus 7 plus root 98 over 7. So um, obviously my 7 can go into my minus 7, that's fine, but I can't simplify this part here. So I'm going to see if I can write root 98 in a different way. So root 98, well, remember our square numbers. We have um, 4, 9, 16, 25, uh, 36, 49, 64, 81, 100. And we're going to look at those and see if I can figure out which of these are factors of 98 and which is the largest. Okay, so I know that 16 times 6 gives me 98, but have I a bigger factor here? And the answer is I do 49. 49 times 2 is 98, so that's the biggest one there. So another way of writing root 98 is to write it like this, the square root of 49 multiplied by 2, which is the same as writing root 49 multiplied by root 2. But root 49 we can write as... Seven. So that becomes 7 root 2, and now it'll be much easier to solve. So if I was to write that down, it's now minus 7 plus, instead of saying root 98, I'm going to write 7 root 2, all divided by 7. And so this I can do quite easily. 7 goes into minus 7 once, and 7 goes into 7 once, so I have 1 plus root 2 here. And that's how I can use division by simplifying the third down. So example number four says write 2 over root 5 in the form of a root 5 where a is an element of the rational numbers. And a rational number is any number that can be written as a fraction. So positive or negative. Okay, so we have 2 root 5. The problem is I need to get rid of this root 5. The only way I can get rid of a root 5 is if I multiply it by root 5. But what I do to the bottom, I must do to the top. So I'm going to multiply both by root 5. On the bottom then, that will, or on the top, that will give me 2 root 5. And on the bottom, I'll have root 5 multiplied by root 5, which we know already gives us root 25, which is in turn 5. So I can really write that as 2 root 5 all over 5. And another way of rewriting this, meaning the same thing, is 2 fifth of root 5. And so as a result, I've written it in form of a fraction by a square root.